Hello, this is MAI Further Maths Core Pure. We're in the second matrices section and on the first video on reflections in two dimensions. You can watch the video straight through, but you will probably find it helpful sometimes to pause the video and try things out for yourself before continuing to watch. We can use matrices to transform points. Look at this matrix multiplication. Carrying it out, I get minus 2, 3. So we can say that the point 3 minus 2 has been transformed by this matrix to the point minus 2, 3. The matrix 0, 1, 1, 0 maps the general point x, y to the point y, x. We can see that the x and y coordinates have been swapped round and that this transformation represents a reflection in the line y equals x. We can transform a set of points in one go, which is where we start seeing why matrix multiplication is defined as it is. Completing this multiplication, we get 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 3. So we can see that this triangle is transformed onto this triangle. Here are some more matrices. Pause the video while you work out their effect on the general point x, y. What transformations do they represent? OK, the first one transforms the point x, y onto the point x minus y. Looking at this graphically, we can see that for a general point x, y, the x coordinate remains the same, but the y coordinate becomes negative. This is a reflection in the x axis. The second matrix transforms the point x, y onto the point minus x, y. Here we can see that for our general point, the x-coordinate becomes negative and the y-coordinate remains the same. We have a reflection in the y-axis. Here are two more transformations. The first one is what we looked at to start with, which transforms the point xy onto the point yx, which is a reflection in the line y equals x. Pause the video for a moment while you work out the effect of the second one. OK, this maps the point x, y onto the point minus y, minus x. If we look at our general point x, y, the new x coordinate is minus the old y coordinate. The y coordinate is minus the old x coordinate. So we have a reflection in the line y equals minus x. Here are the four matrix transformations we've identified so far. Try using GeoGebra to investigate the significance of the points 1, 0 and 0, 1 and their images. You can use this GeoGebra file to help. Start by focusing on matrices which are made up of zeros, ones and minus ones. There are more notes on integral on reflections in two dimensions. That's the end of this short video. The next video in the series is on rotations in two dimensions.